So in this demo scenario, we'll show you how you can manage your inventory in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So the three areas that we'll discuss and review is how you check item availability, we'll do assemble to order, and then predict inventory needs. So the first scenario is around check item availability by location. And what we'll do is we'll check the item availability, we'll create the purchase order, and then confirm that purchase order. So first let's go ahead and open up items. So I'm logged into the uh, business manager role in Business Central. And I can either use my shortcut key on the keyboard, Alt-Q, or I can take advantage of the search icon right up here, and I'll type in order planning. Now I get some documentation around this process, which I could link to in the help side, or I can just click on the order planning. And now here, uh, you could see that I've got a need for two items of my Atlanta whiteboard. And so I'm going to go ahead with that highlighted, and that's based on the demand. I can see, and I select by item availability, and I could choose this by event, by period, by variant. In this scenario, I want to look at it by location. And clearly, you see in our other warehouses, we're not managing them today, but we have the capability of, of doing that, it looks like, again, I have a, a requirement of, of 12, but I only have 10 on hand, which leaves me in a deficit of, of two. So again, I can manage that by multiple locations. So, so from here, again, to save time, I can generate this purchase order with just a single click. So I'll say select, uh, make orders, and I wanna create this purchase order, and then I click OK. Now you'll notice under my order planning that is now satisfied. It's no longer of a concern. I can get into the other detailed line items here, but I'll close that out. And to confirm, as I said, that the purchase order was created, I'll go up into the purchasing tab and under purchase orders, you'll see the most recent one at the bottom of my list. And I'll select that. And you can see where I've got a purchase order for two uh, items, the Atlanta whiteboard. I'll close that out. Now the next scenario around inventory management was assembled to order. And here what I'm gonna do is generate a purchase order based on customer demand. So I'll create the sales order, we'll create the assembly order, we'll post the assembly order, and then I'll post the sales order. So again, from the quick link right here, I can quickly just create a new sales order. I'll select the customer, in this case a datum, and we're gonna they're gonna place an order for some of our conference packages. And I've got a quantity of one. Now notice it's telling me that I may have these items, I don't have enough items in inventory to cover this. Do I still want to record the quantity? I'll select yes. To the right of that quantity to assemble, I have the items. But what I need in the ellipsis is to just take a look at what's available. So in this conference package, I've got a 1965W, the 1953W, and then I've got a um, labor to assemble. So I'll close that out. Now from this window, I can just type in assembly order from the search, or again, use Alt-Q. And when I do that, you'll see a little bit different in the search menu is I can either, this is actually looking for the assembly orders right on this particular page. So I'll select assembly orders, and this is what I need to assemble it to put it into inventory. So by posting this assembly order, this will place the kit into inventory, and then once that's complete, we can use that to complete the sales order. So again, assuming that that's been posted, it's been assembled, I'm back here into the sales order, and I go ahead and, and post. The third scenario around inventory management was just to show you how we can leverage artificial intelligence to predict my inventory needs. Now this uses some of the Cortana intelligence uh, that we have within Dynamics 365 for Business Central. It's also known as the sales and forecasting app that comes installed with the application. But the scenario is I'm, I'm making sure that I've got items to cover our future sales. Or future sales. So I select on the items, 
And here you see again a graphical representation of all the items in inventory. As well as I can see the sales forecast looks very healthy for the Athens desk, which is highlighted in the top left. Now from the drop down, as I see here, the menu is, let me show the inventory forecast. So again, very healthy on the sales, but what's gonna be very challenging in next month is I've got a deficit and I'm not gonna be able to satisfy the customer demand. So quickly to be able to manage that inventory, I need to get this inventory replenished. So I'll create the purchase invoice and get in touch with my vendor immediately. What's even more intelligent is that there's this called a smart notification up at the top. And it's telling me that I have actually run out of stock on items that this vendor typically supplies. So while I only wanted to, to manage the Athens desk, I'm going to take a look and see what else it is that we're missing from that vendor to hopefully get better terms. And what you'll see here is you'll notice that I now have added some additional items to this purchase invoice. And then I can go ahead and, and post that. And so, again, the demonstrations that we saw around managing inventory was designed to show you how you can improve decision making get much greater insight onto your inventory levels and demands, and of course, manage your cash and your investments.